Hi, hello and welcome to Designer by Design. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a multiple project or a program level timeline infographics. I'm going to make use of the techniques used from my previous videos. First one is single project tracker or the timeline infographics. And the second one is interactive presentation that shows navigation techniques. All right, let's get started. Let's start to make the basic objects with which the slide is going to be built with. Once you get this done, then it makes it easy to create the slide. Shape number one. Select the rounded rectangle and draw the shape. Use the orange dot to increase the roundness. Next, fill the shape with a light color. Remove the border. Then add an inner shadow effect. From the shadow options, select a lighter shade for the shadow. Shape number two. Start by drawing an arrow with a height of 0.75 inch and width 1.5 inch, which is double the height. Use the orange dot to increase the width of the arrow shaft. Next, Draw a circle of height 1.5 inch and width of 2 inches. Top align the arrow and the circle. Now position the circle so that the edge of the circle touches the lower end of the arrowhead. Now select the arrow, then select the circle, go up to the format menu. From the Merge Shape command, click Subtract. Here is your designer arrow. Paint it with any color of your choice. Next, replicate the shape number one. Fill it with a desired color and remove the shadow effect. Draw a rectangle to overlap on this shape till its midpoint. Use the merge shape command to subtract and cut the shape at midpoint. Now send this back and position it so that the arrow covers the flat end of the shape. Add a shadow effect to the arrow. Shape number three. Replicate the first shape and fill the shape with the color of your choice. and set the transparency level to 50%. Next, draw a circle of 0.3 inches and place it inside the shape. Paint it white, remove the border and add a shadow. Increase the shadow distance to 5 points so that it's clearly visible. Okay, so now we have all the basic shapes ready for the multi-project timeline infographics. Let's see how to create it. Copy and paste shape number one and extend it to the desired length. Replicate this shape to meet the number of projects you want to display. Next, copy shape number two and align it to the left of shape one. Name each of the projects. You may change the arrow color to differentiate applications or group them by colors to indicate different line of business. Next, add the timeline. For the timeline, I am bringing the shape from the previous video, which is the timeline infographics. Add title to the duration that could be either days, weeks, months, or even years. Next, Copy and paste shape number three onto shape number one. This would act like a slider within the shape number one. The slider would represent the time duration for each of your project at a high level. You can add a short description about the project in the shape number one. Fill the slider with your project timelines. 
Repeat this for all the projects. The shape number 3 is made transparent so you can read the short description behind it. Next, let's focus on navigation. Search and add a home icon. When the arrows of each project is clicked, you can display the detailed timeline with activities for that project. Each project would have their own data to be displayed. To enable navigation, select the home icon first. Right click and select hyperlink. Here select place in this document and select the desired slide. Repeat this for all the arrows and select the desired slide to navigate. This helps to navigate between different projects in presentation mode. Now copy all the shapes that would help us with the navigation and paste it in the rest of the slides. To display the detailed timeline with activities, I'm using my previous slide that I used for creating the timeline infographics video. I will leave the video link for you to watch. To indicate the active slide, paint the rest of the arrows to gray color. Repeat this process for all the slides. To represent any milestones, draw a dotted line and place them appropriately. Search and add a flag icon to represent the key milestones. If you have multiple releases within the same project, you could add another slider and paint it with different color. Let's see how this works. Open the presentation view and here you would be able to navigate to any project using the arrow heads. Well, now you know how to track multiple projects. I hope you found this video helpful. For more such helpful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design. See you in another video. Bye now.